Hi guys, my name is Suma Sarva. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a university in Soria that is Abdul, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. So if you're considering study abroad, you need to add Saudi Arabia to the top of your list. Not only uh, will you get the experience of the timeline, but there is also many benefits to study in Saudi Arabia. There, uh, It might be possible that you don't know about the benefits to study in uh, Saudi Arabia. The first benefit is plenty of funding for your education. Your universities in Saudi Arabia, they are providing a uh, huge amount of funding free uh, tuition support on campus housing medical and dental coverage relocation support and monthly living expense that would be uh, twenty thousand uh, dollars to thirty thousand dollars depending on your uh, qualification and depending on your degree the second one is affordable cost of living in saudi arabia travel opportunities and strong education of stem boost your resume if you study in saudi arabia so different kind of scholarships are announced in uh, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. If the students who want to pursue their master and PhD degree, they can apply for this scholarship. Degree level is master and PhD program. Scholarship coverage is a fully funded scholarship. And you know uh, that uh, there is no application fee to apply for the scholarship at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. There are so many students who are asked there who ask uh, me that uh, I should make some videos on the uh, universities. Uh, but there is no application fee means uh, you don't have to pay any application fee while you are applying for the university. That's why I'm making this video for all the students who want who don't uh, want to pay application fee to apply for the university. They can apply in different departments at a time. So uh, if you want a huge amount of funding and different kind of benefits from the university they should apply for this university so let's talk about the ranking of this university the ranking the, uh, in the global universities the number of this university is 95th best global universities and this university falls 11th in best global universities in asia and second in saudi arabia so it's one of the top universities in all over the world what are the benefits that are provided by this university number one is registration fee and full tuition fee is coverage by this university means you don't have to pay even registration fee and full tuition fee free accommodation means you don't have to pay for your hostel the university will uh, give you accommodation if the university is not giving you any accommodation then university will pay you a specific amount for your accommodation living stipend that is around two uh twenty thousand to thirty thousand dollars and will depending on the qualification and depending on your degree program next is medical and dental coverage and the last one is relocation support Okay, what about all courses are available uh, in this university? There are various courses are available in this university, just like applied math and uh, conceptual science. It means specialization, applied mathematics and uh, computational science and engineering. The next one is applied physics. Under applied physics, there is specialization and applied physics. Next one is bioengineering. Under bioengineering, there is biosensor and bioelectronics, bioinformatics and machine learning, uh, biomaterial and tissue engineering, synthetic biology. There are so many uh, courses are available just like bioscience, chemical science, chemical and biological engineering, computer science, earth science and engineering, electrical engineering, energy resource and petroleum energy. Uh, environmental science and engineering, marine science and engineering, material science and engineering, mechanical engineering, plant science and statistics. These courses are available in these universities. So if uh, you want to apply for master in degree, a master in PhD and uh, you are interested in any of these courses, then you should apply for this scholarship. What is the eligibility criteria to apply for this scholarship? Number one is uh, uh, in all the international students, they can apply for this scholarship. Candidates from all over the world with any nationality, they can apply. Second is applicant with a bachelor degree are eligible to apply for the master degree program. Means if you want to apply for master degree program, you must have your bachelor degree and transcript. And the students who want to go for PhD program, they must have their master degree. Applicant must be healthy both physically and mentally. Applicant may not hold any other scholarship at the same time. Means you are not getting any other scholarship from any other bodies. Complete and full application form should be submitted. There is no application fee that I have already told you that you don't have to pay any application fee. What is the requirement to apply for this scholarship? Number one is official university transcript means if you are applying for master degree program, you must have your bachelor transcript at that time. Next is statement of purpose in which you have to mention your motivation. You have to mention why are you 
uh, why are why do you want to go to Saudi Arabia why are you applying in this university and what's your purpose to apply for this scholar for this scholarship next is your CV as well as your passport three recommendation letter from your professors and next is language requirement it requires minimum TOEFL score of 79 on IBT or 6.5 on IELTS you must have your IELTS or TOEFL before applying for this scholarship but if you uh, are from United States Canada United Kingdom uh, Ireland, Australia and New Zealand then you don't need to show any language requirement deadline what is the deadline to apply for this scholarship the King Abdullah University scholarship in Saudi Arabia 2024 is open for spring and fall semester 2024 on space available basis so it depends on the available seats uh, so let's get into the website uh, so guys this is the website of this university King Adula University of Science and Technology there are different information like home admission life at cost virtual tour program fellowship and apply now let's check the admissions uh, application open for uh, 2024 spring and fall the deadline for PhD degree applicant wishing to be admitted for spring entry is 1st October 2023 so the deadline for PG diploma MS degree or okay, for fall entry round one is 1st of October 2023 so uh, you can apply by 1st of October 2023 let's check the application requirement that I have already told you that official university transcript your CV statement of purpose uh, three letters of recommendation and official TOEFL or IELTS academic uh, score your CV uh, your statement of purpose Let's check what is in the statement of purpose 750 words concerning your past work preparation for the intended field of study relevant background and interest academic plan and career objectives so your statement of purpose like motivational letter it's very important your CV and statement of purpose is very important to apply for the scholarship it should be very unique please describe your reason for applying to particular this program for which you are seeking admission so you have to mention everything in your uh, statement of purpose a new English language test and the other one is GREE. Let's check the requirement of this GREE. Cos does not require the GREE exam for admission so you don't need to worry about this GREE. Okay, let's check the apply. Apply now. Click on apply now. Uh, apply to cause MS degree, PhD degree. Click on MS degree. Application deadline. Application open for 2024. So for the master degree program, they did not mention the deadline. So it depends on the seats. Apply to cost admission website. Let's check the admission website. So this is the site where you can apply for this scholarship. If you have any doubt, if you have any question, you can directly ask from the university. They will help you. And you can see this one. Hi, I am Hakim the Cost Board. I am here to help you learn more about the admission and internship. If you have any question or any doubt, you can ask from this or you can also send the email to the university. So register interest so first you have to register yourself when you register yourself the next is uh, after login yourself you have to apply you have to fill the online application form you have to submit all of your documents required documents when you upload all of your required documents the next is you have to submit your application then and then uh, you have to wait for the uh, response from the university response okay let's try to fill this form last name is server first name is Huma middle name I don't have any middle name okay my email address verify this email address uh, date of birth and next is degree type interest okay I want to get admission in MS semester year uh, fall 2024 program I said uh, chemistry specialization chemistry login information please enter your username and password in the space below uh okay huma s85 password next is verify password i acknowledge by submitting and submitting information uh, your information has been received please click here to log in your application and uh, username uh, so you have to remember your username and password click on login application personal information so I have to put on my personal information 
I agree. I have read the above notice. Okay, I agree. Continue and create. Application, start application. Click on start application. Then click on start application. So there are different kind of things that we have to fill just like my sponsorship, personal information, contact information, emergency information, previous education, degree type, I want to apply for master degree program. Program is, I said chemistry, specialization, chemistry, which year semester do you wish, okay, fall 2024. Okay, next is, have you discussed your application with a member of post faculty? No. Uh, here I want I have a suggestion for all the student before applying you should contact any of your uh, faculty uh, cost faculty uh, to process your application just like if you are doing your PhD or master degree program there would be some professor where there would be some supervisor who can support you so contact the faculty uh, if uh, there is a particular faculty member no there is no If you have any acceptance letter from any professor or supervisor, then it would be easy for you to get admission in the university. Have you previously applied for this university? No. Have you previous application number? No. Save and continue. Uh, third party sponsorship is that you have been awarded a scholarship from an outside entity. No. Uh, save and continue. Personal information, they are asking about your personal information. Next is your contact information. Your contact information, confirm email. Next is address, they are asking about the address. Just I said. Uh, and previous country. 9192, line 3, please select country, Pakistan, okay, it's not coming, then, okay, state and province for USA, CT, and zip code, 35200, whatever is zip code, they're asking about your phone number, address, everything, permanent contact address, so you can fill this application form by your side. This, this is emergency contact. You want to give the contact number of your mother, father, your brother, sister. Previous education. Let's check the previous education. What is in the previous education? Uh, degree type. I'm applying for uh, MA. So I must have my uh, BA degree. As uh, chemistry. Whatever is your field. Country. I got this degree from Pakistan. So you can fill this form by yourself. Next is... A research poster publication let's okay from Pakistan college court look up let's check the college court if there is any college court name okay next is it is previous education statement of purpose and CV if you need help completing this section, please refer to the application instruction. Please save your work before continuing to the next section by clicking the save button. Required for all the applicants, statement of purpose, yeah. statement of purpose, upload your statement of purpose in this section and the next section is for your CV, upload your CV in this section. Next is standardized test. If there is any test, have you taken any GRE exam? No, because it's not compulsory. So... Uh, is English your nat native language? No. Have you taken this test? No. If you have taken it, then you can write yes. Okay, this is about your English proficiency test. Next is research poster and publication. It's for PhD. It's not for bachelor and master student. Do, do you have any lab research experience? If you are doing PhD, then you can, uh, then you should write yes. If you are doing, if you are applying for master, then no. Other information, importantly, like recommendation letter for your recommendations. 
check your application at the end you have to check your application so this is this information is very uh, uh, it's not very uh, specific information it's very common information that you can easily fill by yourself because they are asking about your personal information emergency information in contact information previous education statement of purpose standardized test research posters the application other information recommendation check your application and when you say okay uh, your application is correct there is nothing uh, like uh, uh, you can say that something is missing no then you have to submit your application so this is the process to apply for this university and for the scholarship so i hope you understand everything if you don't understand anything you can ask me in the comment box next video take care of yourself allah peace